In operational risk modeling, we often model risk using the following two elements. 1. The probability of the event. 2. The impact of the event. Factors results in a financial quantification of the risk. For instance, if the replacement costs of a glass window are 500 euros and we expect the window to break on average once every 20 years, then the annual risk would be 1 divided by 20, multiplied by 500 euros equals 25 euro. Insurers and banks use this type of calculation for capital buffering purposes. Of course, the event and impact probabilities are estimated average values surrounded by uncertainty. In our probabilistic models we could define the impact for instance as a log normal, uniform, or triangular distribution. The event frequency we could model with a Poisson distribution. Let's take a closer look at this Poisson distribution. This probability density function counts the rate of events. For instance, the expected number of clients per hour, the number of defaults in a production batch, the number of spelling errors on a page, and so on. Here we see an example of a Poisson distribution for the expected number of clients in a shop. The rate is 3. We see that this is a discrete distribution. In most cases the under limit equals 0 while at the right hand side there is no limit. However, from the example we see that the probability to have more than 10 clients in an hour is small. The Excel Poisson function calls for the following inputs. 1. The x value for which you would like to calculate the probability. So in our case 0, 1, 2, 3, 4 and so on. 2. The rate or expected frequency, in this case, equals 3, and 3. True or false to indicate whether we want to see the probability for that specific x value or the cumulative distribution up to the x value. However, there is no inverse Poisson function available in Excel. This poses a problem for those who use Excel as their modeling and simulation platform. What we want is to build a generator that spits random numbers that follow the Poisson distribution. We can circumvent this problem by using the inverse binomial distribution. We recall that the binomial distribution can model the probability of for instance the number of heads when flipping a coin 10 times etc. The inverse binomial function calls for the following inputs. 1. Number of trials. 2. The probability. And. 3. The alpha, which is a value between 0 and 100%. For our example we can define these inputs as follows. 1. Since the right-hand tail of the Poisson distribution is boundless, we need take a sufficiently large number to approximate the idea of infinity. Let's take 10,000. 2. The probability equals 3 over 10,000 since we expect 3 customers and we defined 10,000 trials. Hence a probability of 0.03%. 3. Since we are building a Monte Carlo simulation, we use the RAND function here to generate random values between 0 and 1. Now we can build a simple Monte Carlo simulation with 10,000 trials. Thus, we get 10,000 results of customer numbers in our shop. Using the count if or frequency function we can count the number of occurrences and the corresponding probabilities. Comparing we the results of our Poisson distribution function and the binomial inverse simulations we see that we get close to similar results. In this video we explained the use of the Poisson distribution and how we can create a pseudo-inverse Poisson distribution using the inverse binomial distribution in Excel. This works well under the condition that we take a sufficiently large number of trials. This work around allows us to create a Monte Carlo simulation that generates random discrete events that follow a Poisson. This is helpful for risk managers that work with Excel and want to model event occurrences. The spreadsheet is available in the link below. Good luck!